Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Leslie, one of the strongest and most popular marksmen in the game. In this video, I will also discuss how Leslie works in full details, which includes her skills, passive, builds, emblems, along with some tips and guide on how to use her in a game, so that you will dominate every game using Leslie. So let's get started with the video. Leslie is currently one of the best marksmen in the game, and she's definitely a part of the meta, especially after they nerfed Claude and Brody. Leslie is a popular pick in the lower ranks, and she is also picked a lot in the higher ranks, especially after they released her new aspirant skin. What makes Leslie so good is that she can deal a lot of damage from a safe distance, and she is a late game hero who becomes more powerful as the game progresses. Whether you're new to Leslie or just looking for some tips to master her, this video is definitely for you. And mastering her can be difficult, especially if you have never used her before. So, in order to master a hero, one must understand how her skills and passive works, so let's start with her passive. With the help of her passive, if you don't take any damage for 5 seconds, her next basic attack gains extra range and 50% critical chance, and deals 100 true damage. This allows her to deal true damage, which ignores any damage reduction effects, making her a great counter against tanky heroes. And whenever her passive is available, there will be a circular line indicating her attack range, and her passive lethal shot can also trigger physical lifesteal. And if you read her passive, you will notice that her passive not only talks about the lethal shot, and it also says each point of fixed physical penetration Leslie acquires is converted into 0.5% critical damage, but her base critical damage is reduced to 130%. In easy words, it basically means if you buy items that provide physical penetration, the physical penetration of those items will be converted into critical damage. For every point of fixed physical penetration she gains from items, she'll get a sweet 0.5% boost to her critical damage. And that sounds pretty cool, right? But wait, there's a trade-off. Her base critical damage is reduced to 130%. So, while she's getting stronger with each point of penetration, her starting critical damage isn't as high as some other heroes. But you could still take advantage of her passive by buying items that provide critical damage, along with one physical penetration item, and that will greatly boost your critical damage. Now, let's talk about her first skill. With the help of her first skill, Leslie enters the camouflage state, gaining double energy region, 40% extra movement speed, and 85 extra physical attack. Your basic attack will get enhanced when you use this skill, and the camouflage state lasts for 3 seconds. And the enemies cannot attack you with their basic attack when you are in camouflage state. So make sure to max out this skill first, as this is your main mobility and poking skill, and this skill is also your main damage source, so it's basically your bread and butter skill. Now, let's talk about her second skill. With the help of her second skill, Leslie throws a tactical grenade in the target direction while slightly jumping back, dealing 150 physical damage to enemies in a fan-shaped area and knocking them back. With its knockback effect, you can use this skill to interrupt basic attacks and skills, like Claude's ultimate blazing duet. However, this cannot stop crowd control immune abilities, like Aldous's ultimate, so make sure to build a defensive item if necessary and your basic attack will also get enhanced after using this skill, so you can also use this skill to deal extra damage. Now, let's talk about her ultimate skill. With the help of her ultimate, Leslie locks onto the target enemy hero and fires four fatal bullets in succession, each dealing physical damage equal to 250 plus 5 percent of their lost HP. You can also use your first skill to increase the damage of your ultimate, and when you use this skill, the camera height is raised, and enemies within range get revealed, even those inside bushes. Make sure to use this skill to check bushes during the late game, as this could reveal the whole enemy's team position. 
You can aim for up to 8 seconds when using the ultimate. To do this, hold the skill button, and you can choose which enemy to fire it, and release your ultimate when you're ready to fire. Now, let me show you some combo you can do with Leslie. For the first combo, hit the enemy with your enhanced passive bullet, followed by your first skill, and then use your second skill, and that way you will be able to shoot out three enhanced bullets in one go. And for the second combo, use your ultimate first, and once you shoot out three bullets, use your second skill right before you shoot your fourth bullet, and that way, the last bullet will be enhanced dealing more damage to the enemy. And for the last combo, you can use your flicker while using your ultimate. Most of the time, the enemy teammates will try blocking your ult, in that case, use flicker to reposition yourself, so that you will have higher chances on hitting the enemies. Now, let's talk about her builds and emblems. For Leslie, this is the best build for her. Berserker Fury, Endless Battle, and Blade of Despair are the core items for Leslie. Berserker Fury will provide you with 65 physical attack, along with 25% critical chance. An Endless Battle will allow you to deal extra true damage, allowing you to deal more damage. And Blade of Despair has the highest physical attack on the game, it will help you one-shot squishy enemies. And Sea Halberd will reduce the shield and healing effects of the enemies by 50% after dealing damage to them, plus it will also provide you 25% attack speed. And for her last item, you can choose between Wind of Nature and Rose Gold. Use Wind of Nature if the enemies are mostly physical damage heroes. But if the enemies have more magical heroes, then go for Rose Gold. Now, let's talk about her emblems and talents. For her emblem, you can choose between the Assassin Emblem and Marksman Emblem. If you want more damage, then I'd recommend you go for the Assassin Emblem. But if you want more attack speed and lifesteal, then go for the Marksman Emblem. And for her first talent, go for Fatal. This will provide you 5% extra critical chance and 10% extra critical damage. And for her second talent, go for Weapon Master. Weapon Master will increase your physical damage from emblems, items, and skills by 5%. And for her core talent, if you want more damage, then go for Lethal Ignition. But if you want more mobility, then go for Quantum Charge. Now, let's talk about her gameplay and how to use her in a game. Just like any other marksman, Leslie is weak in the early game. But currently, she is pretty strong in the laning phase against most other marksmen. During the start of the game, use your passive and first skill to keep poking the enemies, but make sure not to take a proper fight, and just poke them with your first skill. Your goal should be trying to lower their HP, because if you take a proper one versus one fight, then you will probably lose, because Leslie isn't very strong during the early game. And once their HP is low enough, you can try finishing them. And make sure to ask your tank or roamer to help you during the early game, so that it will be easier for you. Remember, the enemy's jungler will try to gank your lane, so you need to pay attention to the minimap. So, your early game objectives are farming, poking the enemies, and keeping an eye on the minimap so that the enemies won't be able to gank your lane. Now, let's talk about her mid-game. As you can see, I'm having a really bad start, because the enemies kept ganking my lane. And they're doing a really good job at not letting me farm, so I decided to go to the mid lane to continue farming. Remember, if you ever find yourself in a position like this, the best thing you could do is avoiding fights and focusing on your farm instead. And whenever you see an opportunity to push lanes, make sure to take that opportunity to push as much as possible. And after you get one or two core items, you can start joining team fights, but make sure to keep an eye on the map, because you never know if the enemies are camping and waiting for you. So, your mid-game objectives should be farming, pushing lanes, and joining team fights without overextending. As you can see, I'm starting to deal a lot more damage, and despite having a bad start, I somehow managed to keep it all together. Most of the time when others use marksmen, they will start to lose hope especially if they keep getting ganked in the early game. 
and they usually start throwing the game by feeding to the enemies, and that's something you shouldn't do. Remember, marksmen are late game heroes, and they usually deal the most amount of damage during the late game, so it's important not to lose hope even if you have a bad start. Now, let's talk about her late game. During the late game, Leslie hits like a truck, and you will instantly be able to melt even the most tanky heroes. But although she is very strong in the late game, she is still a marksman and very squishy, and the enemies can easily kill you especially if you don't pay attention. And the team's victory mostly depends on the marksman as the game approaches the late game. So during this stage, try not to make big mistakes like rotating solo, because the enemies will mark you and take you down first. And never initiate a fight on your own, and always wait for tanks or fighters to engage, and once your teammates start the fight, your main target should be the enemy damage dealer. And you have to be more careful around the enemy mage, because wind of nature won't work against magic damage. So, it's better if you stay behind your tank during the late game. And even in a team fight, you should still continue staying behind your tank, as one wrong move could teleport you back to base. And remember, you must also try taking the Lord whenever possible. The Lord could help you and your team end the game quicker. So, what do you think about Leslie? In my opinion, Leslie is a good hero for ranking up, especially in the current season. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments, and consider leaving a like on the video, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, you guys motivate me to make better videos, thank you for watching.